Famously sold door to door, the cosmetics company is moving with the times. Never mind going online, Avon have just announced plans to open shops in the UK for the first time. Well, let's speak to the retail analyst, Kate Hardcastle. Morning, Kate. Good morning. Um, I always remember buying this off pals at school who would bring in a catalogue. Um, why have they suddenly decided that they need to open shops? Oh, you had very entrepreneurial pals, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Um, I, I remember my mum having a party and that was quite exciting. I wasn't allowed to it, but there was lots of makeup swapping and things going on. I think really we've got a brand here that is having to move with the times. Probably seen as a little dated, but it has carried on going throughout the years, reinventing itself. And we've seen a lot of people in the beauty sector move to physical store. Now, it doesn't mean that one presence isn't working. Online is still doing well for them and that network is still doing well for them. But there's something about beauty which just means that the trial and the touching, the interacting with the packaging and the product really works well in that environment. And I think this shows that there's a talkability about having a presence on the high street too, which is almost like a big billboard advert, isn't it? It's a physical presence, but you're also reminding people of the brand. And so they're going to run them all concurrently, are they? I believe that everything is continuing. We've not heard anything to the contrary, and that would really fit the model of what we call omni-channel, the multiple presence of buying and selling. And that isn't just for physical product. That's the travel industry. That's everything. So imagine them interacting as a brand on social media just as much as they will in person, just as much as they will in stores. It's a case of we're in this big evolution of retail at the moment, and I think it's about trying to find where you find fit, where things work really well. So this could be a good place to convert customers rather than particularly just selling product. And if these are sort of mini beauty boutiques, then they won't, presumably they're they're not going to put them on the big high streets, they're putting them in smaller units, so they won't have to compete with the likes of Superdrug and Boots and other places people are buying makeup. I don't think that's a look they're going for. We've certainly seen, particularly in other regions like America, brands like Sephora and Ulta do really well in these standalone pure beauty play offers. And they don't have that mix of other general pharmacy in there. They work because the consumers go and browse at their leisure, take their time and find colour matches and interact and get advice. And that's the personal one-to-one people love of shopping. I've long said retail is not dead. Retail is just changing. And those stores have to just act differently, which is more of a place of excellence. But what does this then do for the door-to-door or the parties that we talked about right at the very beginning? Because those were outlets where women could make money on the side if they were you know, stay-at-home mums or whatever. This was a way for women to get into business. Will that gradually disappear just by the nature of the fact that I could dander into any shop and buy Avon? I wouldn't imagine that's Avon's, it's their calling card. So I wouldn't Mm. imagine it's the plan that that would always be the outcome. Whether they shift and adjust those different models to suit the numbers, we're yet to see. But I think, yes, absolutely, Avon holds a place in the history book for being entrepreneurial, for being a, a, a a business model just like catalogues or Tupperware that's allowing uh, the individual to go out and make cash interacting with friends using their network and that's a savvy ploy so I don't think they're going to take that DNA uh, out of the equation without really thinking about it I do think however reinventing stores and keeping a different outlook on what retail can be is the right idea Kate lovely to talk to you thank you for joining us the retail analyst Kate Hardcastle there